Okay, this is an extremely interesting conversation. The, uh, so we all know that risk sloshes around a construction project like uh, you know, water in the bilge of a boat. And uh, you know, whichever end that risk settles in is the end of the boat that's lowest in the water. And, uh, but the fact remains that every system that goes into making a building has to be defined at some point. You can't deny that, you can't argue with that, it's just a fact. So sooner or later the glass has to get cut, sooner or later the rebar has to be placed, sooner or later the, you know, the, the, every element of the building has to be defined. And this point that the gentleman has just made is an excellent point, which is that the sooner those definitions take place, and the more completely those definitions take place, the better the job will go. And really the only issue is, and, and by the way, our group has been extremely successful by embracing the greatest possible amount of construction risk. We're always looking for complex work, for work that has challenges in it and so on. That's been a successful formula for us. So I, I think the, uh, the, if you're looking at, as a technical committee at um, uh, creating a logical uh, process uh, and defining contract points, let's say, uh, you know, lines in the sand, you want to look at how the actual physical geometry is built. So, you know, you're starting with work points, uh, you know, it's basically the survey of the building outline. Then you're looking at, uh, say, column center lines and so on. I mean, I, I think that there's a physical answer to this question. Um, you know, that's, that's really the point I wanted to make, is that, is that you can build up the building out of uh, geometry step by step, and it's where you pass that geometry to the next person that really the, 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 the contract definitions lie. I believe that's true, I don't, and I'm just having this thought now, so I could be okay. completely wrong. <laughs> Thoughts that's on uh, what Julian just stated? I, I think the, the, the struggle with, uh, with developing more detail earlier in the process, which is really what we're talking about, bringing more parties to the table earlier, developing more detail uh, earlier, it's, and obviously the more detail you have, the more you have cost certainty, uh, the less risk there is, but it costs money to bring those parties to the table and it costs money to develop that detail. So, I mean, owners are, are always trying to strike a comfortable balance between uh, what you can assume reasonably uh, and, then, and then also collaboratively everyone says, okay, we agree that that's a reasonable budget for, you know, that's the structure of the mechanical systems with that low level of detail that's uh, been established. And I think that's that's the struggle because it, the owner also, you know, before they can get the money to start paying people to develop the detail, they need that cost certainty point so they can do it financing. Uh, but but I think what's changing and, and maybe what we need to work on collectively uh, is the ability to develop uh, more detail for less money. Obviously, using new systems allows you to produce more detail uh, faster using less resources. Um, uh, but also keeping that uh, that information at the early stages of design alive so that it's utilized uh, right through design into construction so that uh, we don't have to reinvent the wheel every time. I mean, uh, I'm not an architect, but my like my experience with the, the uh, schematic design process is at the end of that uh, schematic design, you throw away all the work that you've done and you start fresh in a new CAD file. Uh, and that's, you, you've done all this, you've, you've implemented, you put all this effort into that work and then you have to throw it away. Uh, if, if, as an industry, we can uh, work um, uh, to utilize the same effort through the whole process so we don't have to throw it away, like we're developing models during SMEG design that ultimately become the, the design development models, uh, then we can, we can justify sp spending more money uh, and retain that, that effort.